in prehistoric times, uh, when I was a little lad, uh, you, when you thought of cap guns, this was the sort of thing you got, either for your birthday or for Christmas, or maybe you had pocket money enough to get it. Uh, so anyway, the other week I did um, a search on Google for cap guns, and this is what turned up. Um, I thought to myself, oh, they're different. I like them. Something that shoots, you know, things is uh, just my uh, cup of tea, really. So I thought, okay then. Um, and I went on to uh, New Frog, and I purchased both of these, more or less the same price, around about three or four pounds each, something like that there, two to three pounds each, can't remember. I'll put you some links down below. And uh, I thought, oh yeah, great, can't wait for them to arrive. Uh, and they're quite interesting, really. So uh, let's get them both out of the packaging, and we'll have a look at them. Okay then, so as you can see, this one here is a traditional gun style with a little trigger just there. Um, there's the bottle opening section just here. As you can see, it's got two little magnets in there. Uh, this one's the more flatter design, more keyring style, so you can carry this around with you all the time. Once again, we have the, um, little, magnets on, oops, the little magnets in there and um, to hold it in place and both of them have a little cocking lever just here so we lock it back like so and hang on there we go and that's how you launch the uh, the bottle caps quite interesting designs quite like this one as you can see it's uh, almost gun size I mean for my big hands it's a bit on the bit on the small size but um, <clears throat> anyway what we'll do is before we uh, go any further with these little fellows um, I'm going to hand them both over to Mrs. Rathbone and she's going to open some bottles with them. Um, part one of the bottle opening with this one here, uh, some idiot left the television volume turned up so I do apologise for that one. But anyway, over to you Mrs. Rathbone. Right, this one's a bottle opener from New Frog. Um, looks pretty cheap and nasty. But what? Might, but it might work. What? <laughs> Good grief. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to eat my words. <laughs> <laughs> Drink your love. You can shoot it at the wall if you want. Oh, pull, me. pull the trigger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So what do you think of it now then? That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, we've got another one coming up in half a mo, so you can have a go at that one too, yeah? That was really easy, simple, yeah, easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Don't know how long it'll last though, but... <laughs> <laughs> Right, this one's from New Frog as well, but this is the like the original one, the Zapper one. Um, I guess the difference is it's got you got your little key ring. It doesn't feel any, don't see any heavier, but when you look at it, it looks it's made better. Mhm. Mm so do you, you press that, don't you? Yeah, to fire it, but not yet. All <laughs> right, now. <laughs> right, let's give it a go then. Mhm. Mm Yeah, that's just as easy mm -hmm. to get on. Right, let's give it a... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's that's stronger because it's gone... Oh, yeah, it's gone nearly to the end of the kitchen. Has so it that, gone right to the end of the kitchen? So that's got a better spring on it. Mm -hmm. yeah, this, it. Yeah, this is definitely made better, this one. Cool. So you like that one better then, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Cool. And what was the price difference, did you say? Or Nothing, they were probably about the same. But we might as well get that one there. Some point of getting that one if that's exactly the same price. Yeah, so I you think might as well get that one there. I think it's better made that one. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah. So I would recommend that one. Right here, Mrs. Rathbone. Normally, when you uh, ping a bottle cap off, you get a little line folded in it by the uh, bottle opener, like, this, like these two here, as you see. But the ones are uh, pinged off by the guns here. They are completely flat. There's no um, bending of the bottle caps at all. So they keep me in rather good shape, actually. Now, I purchased both of these two with my own money. As I say, this one's got like a proper little trigger on it. Um, you just cock them both by pulling back on this lever here. This one's a little more difficult because you have to uh, pull the trigger a little bit to get it to lock back, like so. Uh, this one's a lot easier to operate. Again, just pull the little 
like so, and they're both cocked and ready to go. Um, there we go. You can actually see on this one, you can see the little uh, launcher in there that flings the um, bottle cap out. It's held in place with two magnets once you pop it off, as you can see. And um, just launch it across the room like so. It does a pretty good job of it, actually. This one's more or less the same. Just pop the bottle cap in there like so. That one goes off as well. Taking a closer look at the guns, you can see for some reason or another, I don't know why, but on the uh, cocking lever here, there's actually a little sight there, but um, it's lower than the uh, where they screwed it together just here. So I don't know why they put a sight on there anyway, because you can't see above this thing here. I, personally, I'd have had, rather had this at the back here and used as like a rear sight, but um, they've done it this way. And it's a bit it doesn't really work for me, guys. This one's exactly the same as you can see. It has a little uh, rear sight on there, like so. Um, but the construction of the thing is like you know your thumbs in the way anyway, as you can see, so you can't really see the sight. Um, so look here, you can see there's a spring runs the length of the gun, and that's what propels the bottle cap out. There are the two magnets in the bottom of the uh, the hole where the bottle cap goes. If we uh, cock it, you can actually see there's the uh, ejector, locks in place, the spring on the top, and you can see the little button you push just there to release it. Both of these bottle openers do actually have a little metal bit uh, here to get out the bottle cap with, rather than uh, plastic, as you can see, they both have a little metal bit in there to get out the cap, so they're not going to break. Uh, again, this has got the magnets, and we have a similar idea for ejecting it as well. And there's the main spring. This one's got a cap gun written on the side of it. There's the handle and the little trigger. I would say this one's got a little button just here to uh, release the um, bottle cap. Okay then, I think we ought to have a bit of a go at shooting them then, guys. And we'll just welcome back Mr. Cardboard. As you can see, he's got his um, eye pro on, so we shouldn't do me any harm in the eye department. Uh, let's have a go with the red one first then. Give that a go. Yep, yellow one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so the uh, quoted range on these uh, fellows is over five meters now that bucket that pink bucket you see over there is actually five meters away so um what we'll do is we'll uh, load up the uh red gun first give that a go see if it can reach out to five meters oh yeah look at that did you see that guys right over the top of the bucket right Load up the yellow one, give that a go. Oh, well that wasn't very good. Went a bit sideways, that one did. Okay, try it again. Nope. So the yellow one uh, doesn't seem to want to uh, launch as well as the uh, red one does. Oh dear. No, nope, nowhere near five metres for the yellow one then. Hmm. Are they any good at ringing steel? Well, uh, let's get some iPro on and find out. Try the red one. Yep. Oh, missed. No, nope, too low. Let's give the uh, yellow one a go. Oh. Bit better for the yellow one then. Okay, so what about uh, knocking over some empty aluminium cans over here then? Let's go with the red one first. Oh yeah, got one on the top anyway. Bottom ones. 
Oh, nice ricochet. See if you can't get that last standing can. Oh, yep. See how well the yellow one runs in. Hm. Ping. Haha, that's better. And now a little something for safety, Sally. Starting with the yellow shooter. What's the red one like then? Oh! No, no! What the? Uh-oh! Failure to feed, guys! All right, let's see if we can clear this. Hopefully. All right, there we go. We'll give it another go then. Oh, no, not very good that one. Alrighty then, so the bottle cap guns then. Zapper, Zapper cap guns. Um, this one shoots quite well, as we've seen. I don't know if there's any difference between the two really, I suppose, you know, on the day, whichever one you get. I suppose they're all gonna be different, aren't they? Uh, Mrs. Rathbone doesn't like this one, and I have to agree, I think this particular one here is the better one. It's much better made. The materials feel nicer. It's easy to cop. For a start, just like so. This one takes a little more effort to do so because sometimes you have to pull the trigger beforehand. So, yeah, um, maybe this one in, guys. This is probably the better one, better quality one. Okay, so we've uh, used them to shoot with, uh, we use them to open bottles with. They work both, they work good in both instances. Um, I think Mrs. Rathbone was actually quite surprised how well they do open a bottle, you know predominantly plastic with a little bit of metal in here there's the support you know so they don't break it because I don't think plastic would open a bottle very well but um, they are quite interesting little um, units really I quite like to say this one's the better one of the two I think the materials are much nicer but this one just happens to look a bit like a gun <laughs> alright then guys um, I hope you enjoyed the review I hope you enjoyed popping over I hope you enjoyed coming out to the range and uh, having a shoot about um, I'll hope you pop by once again then alright guys well thanks for coming over and I'll catch you later.